Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's class, we are going to know the difference between IoT and M2M. IoT is nothing but the Internet of Things. M2M is nothing but the uh, machine to machine communications. Okay. So though both M2M, machine to machine, IoT, Internet of Things involve networking of machines or devices. They differ in the underlying technologies, system architecture and type of applications. Right now, we are going to see some of the uh, features or the parameters showing how an IoT differs from an M2M or vice versa. So let's see one by one. See, first thing is the communication protocols. So these communication protocol plays an important role either between a machine to machine or M2M or Internet of Things or in short IoT, okay? So what this M2M uses? This M2M uses non-IP based communication protocols for communications. So especially we have seen in the previous sessions as well. So machine to machine uses a non-IP based communication as the communication will be a little bit closer, okay? So they will be using a non-IP based communications which interface with the or communicates with the hardware part, okay? So let's see some of the communication protocol like Zigbee protocol, Bluetooth protocol, Modbus, Mbus, power line communication in short PLC, 6 LOW PAN and IEEE 802.15.4 as well as Z-Wave, okay? All these uh, short, uh, short length or the uh, short protocols, okay? Short distance protocols are used for M2M, which can be considered as a non-IP based communication protocol, especially designed to communicate with the hardware. Okay. Whereas coming to the IoT, it is completely software related. So they will be mostly communicating with the network players as the uh, HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, COAP, WebSockets, MQTT, XMPP, DDS, AMQP, all these uh, protocols are used for the internet of things uh, with respect to the network layers or the software part okay all these kind of protocols we have already discussed in the unit one okay so those who are not aware of these particular kind of protocols please go through that particular topics communication protocols from the unit one okay so these are the protocols which are very much differs the m2m with the iot and if you see the diagram over here so uh, an internet of thing communication between a two particular IoT uh, with a software respect. You can see application layer will be having HTTP, COAP, WebSockets, MQTT, XMPP, DDS, AMQP, and the transfer layer will have the TCP transfer control protocol and user datagram protocol. Everything will be uh, coming under this IoT uh, software processing. Whereas coming to the machine to machine, it's a point to point communication between the particular machines or a multiple machines. Okay. So coming to the network layer, uh, we might be using this kind of IPv4 or IPv4. Mostly it, as it is considered as a non IP based uh, uh, protocol usage uh, machine to machine. So we use a link layer like an uh, uh, Ethernet or uh, uh, Wi-Fi or 2G, 3G, cellular kind of things. All these protocols are very much used. Okay. So, and we have already seen apart from the network layer as well as the link layer. Okay. So, all these protocols is used with respect to the layer. Link layer with respect to MTM is used by all these things and the network layer will be having IPv4, V6 and WLO PAN. Okay. And coming to the IoT, as we have already seen, all these parameters and very much popularly used protocols with respect to M2MA is Zigbee, Bluetooth, all these kind of protocols comes under and does their task according to the layers. Okay. So what you need to keep in mind is like machine to machine communication, okay, is generally or mostly a non-IP based okay communication where the protocols helps in communication between the hardware modules or the embedded modules whereas coming to the iot all the protocols which are used will be ip based mostly ip based and they will be transmitting the data for the larger distances and they will be 
completely related to the software part. All the data which is gathered from the machines will be okay stored in a particular cloud kind of uh, uh, concepts will be there. Everything will be virtually related with respect to IoT. See, and next with uh, if you see the machines in the M2M as well as things in the IoT, let's see what are the machines in M2M and things in IoT, okay? So coming to things in IoT, things in IoT refers to physical objects that have unique identity or identifiers and can sense and communicate with their external environment, okay? So the things means it can be some sort of sensors, okay, which are connected to a controller or a processor, okay? All the data will be uh, fetched by this particular IoT uh, devices using an IP address. So this particular unique identifier for the IoTs will be having IP addresses. With the help of these IP addresses, we can access the particular data. Okay, so these things have a software components for accessing the data, processing the data, and also storing that sensor data. Uh, or we can also control uh, the actuators connected with the help of the data, okay? So mostly if you take a basic examples of an IoT devices, like fire alarms, door alarms, lighting control devices, home automations, everything, industrial automations, so all these are considered as an IoT devices where all the data will be stored in the cloud uh, based on the application and uh, used according to the requirements. We can also monitor and we can also control, okay? Whereas coming to the uh, M2M, okay? So there will be having just an, uh, a small area network or a local area network between a machine to machine such that they transfer the data to perform a particular action. So machine with respect to M2M refers to that. Now, coming to the hardware versus software emphasis, as I've already pointed, M2M is more on hardware with embedded modules, all the sensors, controllers, okay? All the processing related to the hardware will be done over there, whereas coming to the IoT, it is more a kind of software, okay? So IoT devices will run specially software for the sensor in order to collect the data, sensor data, and they also analyze the sensor data and they also interface with the cloud, okay, if necessary, based on the IP-based communication and they store all this particular data in the form of cloud, okay. So whenever they are required, the data can be processed in order to monitor or control the particular operation, okay. Next, coming to the data collection and analysis, machine-to-machine -machine data collection is collected in point solution and often in on-premises storage infrastructure. So so this particular M2M data collection is collected with respect to uh, on-premises storage infra infrastructure, like it can be uh, the, the collection of data from the sensor storing in a particular uh, uh, memory interface kind of thing, okay? So all this comes under the M2M data collection, whereas coming to the IoT data, it will be having some sort of cloud storage, virtual storage, somewhere in servers where the servers are located somewhere, and this particular IoT data will be corrected and stored in the form of or in, in the cloud, okay? So if at all you want to fetch the data from the cloud, we need to use cloud-based applications, okay? And coming to the applications of M2M, so M2M data is collected at, as I've already said, on-premises application. On-premises application screens, it can be a memory device interfaced on that particular hardware itself, okay? And um, the data can be collected on the diagnosis application. This can be a monitor, C screen, or a CR or an analytical measuring device, or it can be anything, okay? And also service management applications, whoever is providing. It can be, an, uh, as I've already said, it can be a uh, monitor, PC, or anything, okay? Where you can see that or uh, data can be collected through that, okay? But... IoT data especially is, uh, can be collected with the cloud-based applications. For example, let me say like uh, Blink app, okay? So ThingSpeak app, and these are the basic apps which are mostly used in our IoT-related applications or projects, okay? So 
all in order to access the data from the cloud, we also need to have an application interface, uh, like a software or an app kind of thing in order to access that particular IoT data. Okay, so these are how the M2M machine to machine as well as IoTs differ.